hey my real ones so i'm coming to you right now to encourage you <sighs> actually i'm encouraging myself so got some really bad news today bad news coming from myself like i look at it as bad news and sometimes when you're trying to do right you can feel like the more steps you take forward you just keep getting knocked back so in a previous video, I explained how I wrecked my car. Um, I thought that, hey, we're about to just get it fixed. I got a $1,000 deductible. We're just going to pay it. <sighs> so today, a couple of, um, about an hour or so ago, I just got the news that my car is totaled. So what that means is that my insurance is going to give me some money and I have to go buy a new car. Rewind back this time last year. I had a car, I had a Toyota Prius, it was paid for, wrecked it, totaled it. Fast forward to this year, and I had just bought four new tires. This year as well, just bought four brand new tires for my car. Hit a deer, totaled the car. And what I'm trying to basically say is, man, I feel pressure. I feel just like so frustrated but you have to wear a smile, you have to still show love, and you have to show God that he could trust you with this. Because in the word it says, all things work together for the good that love the Lord. <sighs> Today I'm holding on to that word, man, because I just don't feel like trying to buy another car. I don't feel like going on a search for a new car. I just don't feel like having to put extra money towards a new car because they'll give you money for the car when they total it but it's not going to amount to what you pay for so my car i paid ten thousand dollars in cash they're not giving they're not going to give that to me so what that means is if i want something like my car or better i'm going to have to put money with it y'all just keep praying for me the closer you get to the finish line, the harder it's going to get. It's, that's just how life is. You have to persevere. You have to keep the right attitude so that you can receive the blessings. Your attitude determines your altitude. Period. Period. We have to learn how to go through the struggles of life like some G's. Basically, Paul said, I want to, I think it's Paul, I glory in my tribulation, which that tells me I get better when stuff goes crazy in my life. I am just trying to depend and trust on God, grow glory to glory to glory, and just give God praise. Instead of talking about my problem, I'm trying to praise him through it. I have a tendency when I go through stuff to get really quiet. Like, I lock in, I lock down, I shut down, and that's just how I've always been. I don't do a lot of yapping. I try to get a game plan, and I try to attack it. That's what I'm doing now, kind of. I'm trying to breathe my way through, not get frustrated, and and just ride it like a roller coaster. Like, enjoy the process. I don't know. God might be trying to bless me with a brand new car. God knows my heart. I don't want any car payments. I've not ever had one. Glory be to God. I do not want a car payment. In situations, God is humbling you. He's just making you better. And you have to go through the fire to get the anointing. So I'm ready for it. It's so uncomfortable, y'all. But I'm ready. I'm ready for the process. I'm ready for God to make me better. And I'm ready to go to glory to glory. I trust them, y'all. I trust them with all my heart that everything is going to work out. When I, listen, I'm making this video so when it really does happen, when when I get that blessing, I'm going to share it with you. So you will know God's real. So you will know no matter how it looks, he can make a miracle out of a mess. You understand me? He, he's done it before. So it's like, why am I feeling that pressure? Because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just so uncomfortable. You know, you're just like, seriously, like why? Especially when you have an expectation, like I expected my car to get fixed. It wasn't that, that bad. I didn't think hit a deer, just wanted my car back, but that's, that's not how it's going to go. God had different plans. I don't know anything. I am dust. He knows everything. He can see all he is everywhere at one time. 
I believe he's trying to set me up for a blessing throughout all of this craziness. So, yeah, I'm just going to trust them. I was already kind of slick crazy because I had a thousand dollar deductible. So I'm, I was looking like, dang, I got to come out a thousand dollars. Well, with this situation, I might have to, you know, I don't want to speak it, but you know, I got to find a car. So just keep your head up no matter what. Y'all, we going through this together. We're, we're going to whatever, whatever life throws at us, we are going to handle it. <laughs> prestigiously we're going to hold our head up stick our chest out and go for it we are not going to get frustrated we are going to show more joy more love more peace towards other people because in my past what i tend to do is when i get frustrated i take it out on people this season of my life when i get frustrated i'm trying to show the love of god yes it is hard yes it's uncomfortable yes i want to just clock out of work and go home and lay in the bed and not talk to nobody for three days like give me my space life still has to go on i still have to move keep moving i can't let it stop me and the 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 trick of satan is to halt you he wants you to stop some things can happen. You won't even move forward on stuff. You won't move forward on your dreams because you could look at like, dang, I got to buy a new car. I ain't going to be able to do this. No, we're going to move forward. He's not stopping nothing. He's not going to stop us, y'all. We are going to prevail in the name of Jesus, y'all. We got this. No matter what you're going through, keep your head up. Stick your chest out. Put a smile on your face. Don't let Satan catch you slipping. Because one thing... Satan uses, he uses old tricks. He knows my finances is something he could touch. And, you know, I would get kind of mm, touch my son. I get kind of, you know, it's it's the same old junk. So I'm going to ride this like a G. I'm going to just be confident in God and trust him and praise my way through it. Pray my way through it. And, and just give it to God, y'all. Just wanted to share that with you because I'm about to let y'all see my journey. And why I'm letting you see my journey is because I'm here now. But man, a mug is about to be so blessed because we're going to hold it down for God, man. Even if we fall, it, a just man gets up seven times. We do not have to be perfect, but we do need to get better and better. Yes, it's a process. But the goal is to be better, better mothers better friends better wives better co-workers better employees like better so let's get better y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe and share it man if you know someone's going through something we about to go through it together we're growing together we about to grow y'all we're not going backwards we're gonna move forward don't have a lot of time. Let me, I'm still on the clock. I got to go. But I just wanted to share that eight minutes of just my story. And we about to get it. Love y'all, man. Happy New Year. Let's grow together, y'all, to all my real ones.